they dance, they flail, they're a big, wacky, and awkward way to get your attention. But did you know these tall boys debuted at the 1996 Olympics as art? Meet Peter Minshall, a prominent Caribbean artist, known in Trinidad as the creator of larger-than-life dancing puppets created for Carnival. His work made its way to a book called Caribbean Festival Arts, and that book made its way to a man, a man on the steering committee of the Olympics. Peter was commissioned to help create an unforgettable opening for the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. In a moment nothing short of pure genius, Peter returned to his roots by sketching a puppet-like structure. But this time, he turned it into an inflatable airman that would move and dance, just like his manned puppets. For this, he had to call in another artist, Daron Gazit, an engineer who happened to be obsessed with anything inflatable. Between both men, they were able to accomplish the seemingly impossible. 60-foot, inflatable, two-legged, dancing men. The tall boys were nothing short of a success. After they graced the Olympics, Gazit got a patent and licensed the design to various advertisers. Now, they're everywhere. Used car lots, crop fields, shopping centers, you name it. So the next time you see a big, ridiculous, inflated tall boy waving at you in the distance, just imagine you're in the Caribbean, dancing along to the drumbeat.